Hello, and thank you for joining us today. We have something super special in store. Today we are going to be making a beautiful boho style cascading bouquet. We are going to start by dyeing our flowers. We just dip them in a mixture of our dye water and sola softener. The sola softener just ensures that your so flowers stay soft and pliable. They don't chip and break. And all we're doing is just dip dyeing our flowers, making sure they're coated nice and evenly letting any excess paint water mixture drip off and then setting them aside to dry. Once you have your flowers dry, we are ready to get started. Here we are using a beautiful mix of peach, peachy pink, some purples, and even some reds. We're just going to start by adding some of our wire stems to these flowers. Just add a bit of glue to the back of your flower and then stick that stem through the glue and into the back of the flower. You wanna make sure that your stem is stuck into the flower far enough that it's not going to pop off, but not so far that the stem pokes through the other side. Now that we have all of our flower stemmed, we are ready to start on our filler. Here we are just going to take our filler and cut it down into smaller, more usable sizes. We don't, this is a pretty big bunch of eucalyptus that, we're, that you see us cutting here. And we don't want to use that whole thing in one spot in our bouquet. We want to be able to spread it out and kind of mix it in throughout our arrangement. We have a few different types of eucalyptus here. We have some willow eucalyptus, some silver dollar eucalyptus in our teal and autumn colors, giving us that super boho look that we are so into right now. So we've just gathered a few pieces of filler in our hands and now we're gonna start adding some flowers. For this specific style of bouquet that we're making today, we are using preserved fillers that have a little bit of natural hang to them. Um, and what I mean by that is when you hold the filler out, it doesn't just stand out straight like a stick. It has a little bit of a natural drop to it and so it will hang nicely to give us that cascading effect. And now that we have a little bit of filler and a little bit of flowers put together, we're going to add some tape. This is just going to keep everything that we've done so far in place while we finish arranging the rest. And now to start the top of our bouquet, we are going to add more flowers into our handful here. And as you can see, as we add the stem in there, we're kind of bending it upwards. This is going to form the top of our bouquet. Um, that will be the part that if you were holding it in your wedding, this will be the part near your chest and neck, and the part that we did at first will be the tail of your cascade. You can use whatever types of filler you would like for your bouquet. These are just the ones that we're using to achieve the boho style as well as the cascade bouquet. Now that we have all of our flowers and filler arranged where we would like them, we are just going to cover up that floral tape with a bit of jute twine. You can use ribbon or lace or whatever you would like. We find that the jute twine just gives us a really good handle and covers up that floral tape really well and finishes off our bouquet. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to build a boho style cascade bouquet.